mechanics is an endeavor by the team DPS Rajnagar Ghaziabad to integrate sports with academics and make learning relatable. It is the philosophy of a blended curriculum that uses physical and sports skills to reinforce the concepts discussed in the mathematics class in the minds of learners. In this episode of Sports Mechanics, an integration of different sports with the topic angles will be discussed. The concept of angles is introduced during the mathematics class by the academic teacher. A figure which is formed by two rays or lines that share a common endpoint is called an angle. The measure of an angle depends upon the opening between its arms. The more the opening between the arms, the more the measure of the angle. The number of degrees from one arm of the angle to the other determines the measure and classification of an angle. The most common types of angles are acute, right, and obtuse angles. Then the academic teacher will leave the linker for the sports teacher. The concept was explained by HPE teachers through different activities, and the students were imparted the knowledge of the importance of angles in various sports. Angles play a crucial role in sports. In football players use angles to enhance their individual or team performance. When kicking from less distance, a larger angle is necessary to get the ball through the goalpost. However, when making a long distance kick, a shorter angle is called for, so the ball can travel the greater distance to the goal. When the opposing team is trying to block the kick, a higher angle kick is necessary. Professional football players instinctively apply the concept of angles to achieve the most successful outcomes in the game. In cricket, the angles at which the ball is thrown and the hitting of the ball have their own significance. There's been various bits of research around the optimum angle for launching sixes. It's either coming out at 37 or 42 degrees. While swimming, if the takeoff angle is too high, the angle of entry will be steep, leading to a deep gliding pattern, requiring more time to return to the surface. If the swimmer's takeoff angle is too low, then the entry will be flat resulting in increased drag when entering the water. In contrast to that takeoff angle should be closer to 45 degrees towards the water, and the angle between the hip and the knee will be over 90 degrees. Basketball, if the angle of the arms is too wide, then the ball might go past the basket, alternatively, if the angle of the arms is too narrow, then it will limit the shot, fail to reach in the basket. Roller skating is the act of traveling on surfaces with roller skates. The knee angle significantly affects skating efficiency. Ideal knee bend is about 90 degrees during a stride and about 70 degrees for the rest of the time. Research shows that peak skating power can be reached at a knee angle of 130 degrees. The sports teacher now relates the concept taught by the academic teacher during the sports activities while playing football, basketball, cricket, skating, or swimming and leaves the linker back to the academic team. The concept then was concluded by the academic teacher in her session by discussing students' experiences and learnings during the activities. Integrated physical education is a modern and comprehensive concept that provides opportunities for students to transfer learning from one subdiscipline to another.